Hello everybody, my name is Aeth and welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich in Hearts of Iron 4 as the Russian Empire. So, at the end of the last episode, the Germans have declared war upon us. Who do they think they are? Basically, they're, they're just really big jerks. So here is how the alliance systems are standing in the world. Now that World War II is absolutely, totally kicked off. We have in the one corner, the Co-Prosperity Sphere, the Intersteps Alliance, and the Third International on side basically A. And then we have the Reichs Pact and the Entente on side B. So that, that's basically how these are kind of shaping up at the moment. Of course, you know, the Crow's Prosperity Sphere is actually not worth at war with the Ent uh with that uh with the um the Germans. They're only at war with the Entente. But I'm still gonna count this as part of our uh, little system here. And then Austria's at war with the Ottomans, but that does not matter for the uh the context of what we're doing. So we're going to try to kick out all of the Germans from White Ruthenia. Right now, none of the other countries in the Reich's Pact have actually joined the war. But sadly, they are slowly uh, mobilizing, which is not great. Um, we can we can kind of take our lands to the west. We gain a annexation war goals, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to be at war with them in a minute anyways. But I don't want to be at war with the Japanese. That's just going to be suicidal. Um, so let's look at the Middle Eastern direction. Because we can actually probably get involved in a war against the Ottoman Empire relatively easily. Because the Austri Austrian um, alliance against the Ottoman Empire is so one-sided that it's almost a joke. And we're at 100% war support, so this doesn't matter. Stability is sky high. This is a golden age for the Russian Empire. And still, nobody actually, none of Germany's allies want to join the war against us. Well, you know, we'll see how that goes. I mean, it shouldn't take that long. It's supposed to take 130 days, even though we're at war with the alliance leader. Morocco has been called into the war. They should die pretty easily. Like, these are just free German kills. Like, we can't go into these territories quite yet. Non-aggression pact with the Union of Britain? Sure, why not? Ireland's now joined the war. Who else are we actually at war with, officially? Poland, Germany, Ireland, Morocco. And, uh, G Germany's a uh, Africa down here. They actually might get a non-aggression pact with, uh, the NPA. If anyone wants to join the war, sounds fine. Somebody's just died. Anybody that I care about? No. Landers, Wallonia. How- you want- you want a... Non-aggression pact? I thought I'd got packing with the Oh, you want to actually do one? Why not? Because you don't like me. Oh, okay, okay. To be fair, I'm not at war with the Entente. So we're in a weird situation where France is at war with both. We're at war with Reich's Pact. Japan's at war with the Entente. It, yeah, again, it's a very strange situation we've kind of uh, gotten ourselves into. So also, you guys shouldn't be on this front. You actually should be on Poland's border. Because that's the only thing that actually matters here. Well, not the only one that matters. It's just that's the only one we're actually officially at war with. So we're going to push our way to the river. We're on speed 5. No, we're on speed 4. Let's actually go down to speed 3. Okay, so now Ruth... Oh, okay, now Lithuania is actually in the war as well. So let us drag our line here. Delete this line. Uh, all of you hold position. Reorganize yourselves. I extend this front line to try to take over Vilna. Because again, it shouldn't actually be a difficult conquest, I would think. Let's attack a little bit against the Germans here. Of course, this is actually going to make uh, take some pressure off of the French. Which is something I didn't want. Portugal is just going to completely die. That's not a big surprise. Um, again, the Germans have put a lot of troops in... in um, You know, I think both Dutch has been called into the war. But they should just get steamrolled. I really wish they got called into the war a lot sooner because we would have, I really would have liked to just walk through Ukraine uh, with no problems whatsoever. But sadly, that's not going to happen. Okay, 
And yeah, I can't really reorganize these troops quite at the moment. Or actually, I should have this, uh... I can't have it go loop all the way around because we're not at war with Ukraine, technically. But our troops are actually looking pretty strong. I don't know how many of these guns are needed for... Only 21,000 for actually, um, the troops on the field. Which actually is not too, too bad. Considering how it's been in the past, that's actually, like, a miracle. That it's only that bad. Uh, you know what? You guys can actually just superly aggressively push into the uh, United Baltic Duchy, because I think they'll capitulate quite fast. Okay, if we take our, uh, you, you, Lithuania might actually capitulate, like, pretty quickly. Again, we'll see how it actually goes. So I'm surprised the Ottoman Empire is actually doing as well as they are. Yeah, so I still think the Syndicalists are going to win that war. 119,000. Oh yeah, this is, this is mostly like entirely against, um... You. We actually already killed 120,000 German troops. That's just embarrassing for them. Mostly because they all, I mean, to be fair, they all got trapped in White Ruthenia. French Republic has declared war on... Federation. Uh, we need rubber, so we'll get that, I guess, from... Let's get it from Japan. Try to get at least some... Penny bonuses. But yeah, so it looks like the... Uh, African natives are... Not happy with the French Republic anymore, so... Hotties declared war on the French Republic. Everybody's declared war on the French Republic. So I think the French Republic might just die. I mean, they have a lot of troops, to be fair, but... You know, we'll see how it all goes. Again, Ukraine has not entered the war officially. Basically, that just means that they're cowards. You might as well go into this province. One of you might as well go here. You might as well go here. You move into here. Australia and the Communist of France have entered their hostilities. Oh, have they gone communist? No, okay, they just left the Entente. Okay, so they've actually officially declared their independence from the uh, from the Entente. Which actually I'm surprised did not happen sooner. Of course, we're going to just make even more infantry equipment. You want to send a Lendlease? That's fine. Of course, we can take over Riga pretty quickly. That would be fantastic. Yeah, if you can also, yeah, just border along the Ukrainian front. That's going to be important for us. Because, yeah, Ukraine does not want to get involved in this war. Not even slightly. I'm assuming that the Ukraine knows that we will just steamroll them in the event of an actual major conflict. One building slot, 20 political power. Sure, why not? I don't really know if that does anything like super great for us, but it doesn't harm us, so that's always positive. Are you not guys on like super aggressive mode? Go take over every major city. Try to cut the Germans off from trying to uh, do anything super, super crazy. I mean, we're winning like every single battle. I'm absolutely amazed by that. Yeah, so they're trying to attack into us, but that's absolutely not going to work out for them. Are they at war with our entire faction? No, the Caucasus are still pretty much independent. But they might get called in by our allies. Again, I'm not really too sure how those numbers really work out. It's always been a little bit strange to me. How many troops does Germany actually have? They have not that many more troops than we do, honestly. And... Yeah, no, it's an interesting situation. Is there anything in here that actually allows us to attack the French? The answer is no. There's nothing we can do. Ask for Greater Armenia. That's complete Middle East. Okay, so we have the complete Middle Eastern direction. And then we can ask for Greater Armenia. And we'll see if the Ottomans actually say yes to it. I think it's entirely possible that they will. It's funny, because Russia literally doesn't have a single truck in the army. 
We have no trucks. Which I would say at least uh, is not fantastic. Yeah, you yeah, gotta just kind of keep on pushing through. You know, basically, this is the revenge for uh, Bretzlitov. Who do you think you are, Germany? You cannot fight against Mother Russia? Like, we're actually like, kicking your ass. Um, you've, we lost almost a million... Okay, actually, no, this is also against the, uh, the International as well. But you've lost almost a million men already, Germany. That's impressive. That you've managed to lose that many men so quickly. Okay, we're so close to Riga. So let us try to take over here and then push our way down to Riga. We have researched better artillery. Is there any better guns? Yes, there are. We need both of those. Again, infantry make up basically the entirety of the front. Or the entirety of our army. We have like no tanks. We have no planes. We don't really even have boats. We have actually like nothing at all. Yeah, these are all like pre World Creek interwar. A couple of our submarines are repairing, but... Overall, the situation's not great. We've lost 40,000 men. Still most of those against the NPA. 30, only 10,000 have actually been against the, uh, the Reich's Pact. And yeah, you, you, um... Ukraine really does not want into the war. I can't blame them, honestly. Like, looking at everybody, how everybody else is doing, it's, uh, not a great time for them. Middle Africa. Okay, now they've been involved in the war. Right? Yes, they're now at war. So yeah, you guys just march straight in. Take over Sevastopol. Basically, everybody is just going to attack across the entirety of the front. Or, you know, at least in a handful of territories, I guess. We'll try to push our way through. Try to take over uh, Crimea and then push our way up north. Oh, Germany. How the mighty have fallen. I mean, I mean, you haven't really fell. We haven't even touched any of Germany proper, but still. No, I don't want you actually involved in this war. As silly as that might sound, I don't want you to involve because I would prefer you to have some way to deal with the Ottomans. If it comes to that. Also, I'm really surprised by how well they're actually doing down there. So you've taken over, uh, Bletsatov. Warsaw's not even, like, too far out of the way. Lithuania and the UBD are basically om already almost capitulated. Abyssinia's declared war on Etria. You're just taking- you're just attacking everybody, Abyssinia. I have a city, don't give a shit. Uh. Yeah, let's attack these guys. Just again, just try to get some encirclements, get something here going. If anything. Etria revolts! I don't care. I'm gonna have this front line extend all the way here to try to meet up with you. Okay, you guys just kind of reposition yourself at the moment. Just make sure the Germans don't push to the south. Mongolia is over here to help us. Well, you know, that's nice of them. If we be really aggressive, will we actually take more cities? It looks like we will, which is fantastic news. Okay, so taking over Crimea. Definitely can push your way here. Middle Eastern direction is going to take another 30 days. But then this is only going to take 14. This only takes 14. So those are much, much faster. Also, if somebody said there's two white Ruthenian troops over here. I'm assuming, actually, they're probably over here uh, fighting for the Germans when we asked for the, um, the alliance, basically. So that's probably what's happened. 
We're going to take over this city, which is quite nice. We're winning, like, all of our battles. In Europe, we are uh, we have a 99% we have a 90% win ratio in Europe. A 48% uh, win ratio in Asia, but just don't ever look at that, and everything looks fine. You guys keep on pushing up. We're going to take over Sevastopol. Crimea is now going to fall. Like... Tom, like, the international, I'm handing you such a big victory, and yet you just cannot seem to grasp it. Extremely dis- I mean, is Britain actually doing anything? They actually are. Remember when we, again, remember when we played as Italy and Britain did absolutely nothing the entire game? It was just, it was actually just, like, the worst. Okay, we're very, very close to Riga. We can actually, if we can surround these 13 divisions, that would actually be amazing. You go take over these two islands, because why not? Okay, you guys march down here. Yeah, you can deal with that pretty fine yourself. I, I don't know, I guess build convoys? I really have no idea what to build with uh, our ships. How many convoys do we have? We have 69. That's actually, like, not a lot. Okay, so we can probably push these guys back pretty far. Of course, keep on marching forward over into all these provinces. You march over here. You help reinforce this attack. Oh, Germany. Have any of our troops that we're trying to train gotten any equipment yet? The answer is no. But, you know, to be fair, reinforcements is significantly up. Uh, more important. Upgrades I don't actually care about as much as... You know what? Stop attacking there. The Australasian Confederation has joined the Entente. Did they go back to... Oh, now they've gone fascist and they've rejoined the Entente. Which is very strange. I don't... Did they reinstate the Queen? Or I guess it's, I guess it's the King, still. Very surprising. We're actually winning here, which is uh, amazing. Australian Guard Q again! Australia is just insane. I'm not going far enough into suppressive syndicalism. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. I'm, I'm assuming it just means that we're going to redeclare war on everybody and then be a little bit dumb and just die. Uh, you go this way, you go this way, you march to that province. You don't march that way, because that makes no sense. Yeah, we are doing absolutely fantastic work, I would say, against the, the Germans. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. Don't you want to subscribe, and goodbye.